Hey guys, how's it going? LA here. And in this video, we're going to go over the initial installation for OpenVOS. Uh, OpenVOS is a open source vulnerability assessment scanner. Um, and so uh, we're going to go ahead and use Kali Linux as our operating system and install OpenVOS onto Kali Linux. Now, before we get started, um, a couple things just to keep in mind. Uh, one, the installation process takes a little while, so uh, throughout the video, I might skip ahead uh, in some parts. And two, OpenVOS and generally most vulnerabilities, uh, most vulnerability scanners in general require a lot of resources. They're pretty resource intensive. Uh, for some enterprises, there's specific appliances that are souped up just to handle uh, vulnerability assessment. So, uh, with that in mind, if you're using uh, virtual box, if you're using any kind of virtualization uh, platform, you'll want to beef up the RAM. Uh, you'll want to beef up the memory as well as the CPU uh, processor. So, I'm currently using virtual box. Uh, right now, the RAM that I have here, uh, I believe, is set to eight, or excuse me, I believe it's set to six. Actually, no, it's set to four. So there's four gigs set here. Uh, but regardless, you'll want to beat this up as much as possible. Uh, I currently have a maximum of 20, and I could probably push this out a little bit more. Um, and my CPU processors, I have a maximum of eight, but I've uh, allocated two to this. So I'm gonna, just gonna go ahead and leave it as is. But um, if you're going to be following along, be sure to uh, be mindful of the memory and CPU that you add to this. Uh, it's a resource intensive uh, application. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and log in here. Alright, so the first things first, what we want to do is we want to uh, install the OpenVOS setup. OpenVOS has a, a, uh, a setup application that we can download that will take care of most of uh, the installation and uh, the package creation. So we're going to do a apt-get apt-get install and we're going to type in open the VAS and we're going to hit the tab key for autocomplete and as you can see there um, there is OpenVOS so we're going to go ahead and uh, install the OpenVOS portion now it's letting us know this is going to take approximately a gig of space so go ahead and click on the yes or type yes and let that part download Alright guys, so the setup has complete. What we're going to do now, um, we have OpenVOS on our system, um, but we're going to go ahead and run the OpenVOS setup, which is going to uh, go through the OpenVOS setup process and it's going to take care of some of the signatures uh, as well as create a password for the admin user. So let's go ahead and do that. What we're going to do is we're going to type in OpenVOS and we're gonna hit the tab just to check out our options here. So we're looking at the OpenVOS setup that's right here, and we wanna run that. So I'm gonna go ahead and type a dash set up, let it auto complete, and hit enter. All right guys, so we're at the end of the setups here, and so, as you can see, uh, admin was created with the password that is within these quotes. Now, uh, when we log in, we'll be able to use this password as well as the username uh, admin. We can also check the username by typing a quick command here.
as you can see typing the command open boss ND uh, get users will pull up the users that we have created if you want to create another user you could use the open boss MD command and the subcommand create user followed by an equal sign and the name of the user and when it's complete it'll generate a password Also, what we want to keep in mind is um, typically network services are disabled uh, with Kali Linux. And so when you reboot and restart Kali Linux, uh, a lot of services won't be enabled. OpenVos is one of those services. And so what you'll need to do is you'll need to uh, enable this service. And we can do that by typing OpenVos followed by start and once we've completed our scans and uh, we've done our vulnerability assessment uh, it's advised that we actually stop OpenVos again OpenVos is a resource intensive service and so we can type in the command here to uh, stop OpenVos. So OpenVos start and OpenVos stop will start and stop the service for OpenVos. But let's go ahead and start the service and open up OpenVos and log into the account that we just created. Now in order to log in, um, you'll need to type in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash localhost and we're going to be going to port 9392. Now typically you're going to get a uh, unsecure connection message. Uh, what you can do is you can go ahead and click on advance and scroll down at the exception, confirm the security exception, and you'll be presented with the uh, login screen. So I'm going to log in with the account that I created. And as you can see the password is right here. I'm going to use this password by clicking copy and paste and I'm going to log in. And as you can see we're here on the uh, the interface management console for uh, OpenVos and uh, we're logged in. So that ends the first part of my tutorial. Uh, in the next part of the tutorial, we'll go through how we can start and kick off some vulnerability uh, scans.